no work? I knew I figured it had to be something like that. That's what. All right. We're good. This ball, this ball. <laughs> Thanks, Kyle. Casting more than 2,000 games live and archived in 15 sports in over 10 counties in western Pennsylvania, as well as being the exclusive home for all the WPIAL playoffs and championships for nearly two decades. Anytime, anywhere, always there. We are the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. Welcome to the North Allegheny Sports Network, part of the Trib Live High School Sports Network. You can follow the NA Tigers all season long and into the postseason on the North Allegheny Sports Network by logging on to www.northallegheny.org or by going to tribhssn.triblive.com. And now for all the action of today's Tigers contest, let's go out to the North Allegheny broadcast team. Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Baldwin High School. Neutral site for this evening's Class Quad A Girls Volleyball Championship. It's the top-seeded North Allegheny Tigers against the number two seed in the Quad A bracket the Armstrong River Hawks. I'm Randy Gore along with Limon for tonight's broadcast. And when you drop the bracket, you look for number one versus number two. And well, Chalk played out on both sides as it's the undefeated Tigers against the Armstrong River Hawks, the section four co-champions, won their section with an 11 and one record. And Armstrong winning that section title for the third consecutive season this year, the most recent uh, of those titles have been co-championships with Oakland Catholic, but all of that really matters not because for Armstrong, they are in the WPIAL championship game for the first time in school history. It is a brief school history for Armstrong. Catanning High School and Ford City merged in 2015, so the school has really only been in existence for three years as far as the athletic programs are concerned. But if you look at it from a volleyball perspective, Ford City in 2014 won the Class AA WPIAL title and containing that same year made the playoffs. So when you combine two powerhouses, not a surprise that Armstrong has been so very good in girls volleyball over the years. And here they are in the WPIAL championship facing off against the North Allegheny team that is in the finals for the fourth time in the last five seasons. So with all of that said, Lee Moan, we should be in for a pretty exciting Class Quad A volleyball championship. Yeah, it should be a fun one. Armstrong uh, getting get here the other night. They defeated Seneca Valley three games to one. North Allegheny defeat Hefner three games to none. Three games to none the other night. So uh, should be a fun one. Armstrong. Uh, we're going to talk a little bit about their uh, their outstanding uh, hitter and Kenzie Lasher. But uh, this is going to be a fun moment here tonight at uh, Hefner High or Baldwin High School. Starters being introduced at the moment. And uh, excited to have you along on this video stream here tonight on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Chris Lackner doing yeoman's work here this evening with these volleyball championships. And Lee Moe, this is uh, your head headphones. So yeah, I got it. Okay, you're, you do what you need there. I'm just trying to make sure that we're okay on levels for Mr. Lackner and uh, I'm sure he'll keep you abreast of that situation. So 
It is uh, terrific to bring you this volleyball championship in Class Quad A. Again, a uh, video stream for tonight's broadcast. As you can very well see right now, the Armstrong lineup uh, being introduced here at Baldwin High School. For North Allegheny, uh, we mentioned this is the fourth time in the last five years the Tigers are in the championship, vying for their fifth WPIAL title. Out of those trips to the championship, this is one of the few times where it's actually a neutral site. You remember the last two times the Tigers were here, the Baldwin Highlanders were in the uh, championship as well. So the uh, distinct home court advantage for Baldwin in those contests, uh, those seasons. And uh, as it turns out, tonight, North Allegheny, it is a true neutral site for the Tigers. And uh, I was talking with Coach Heidi Miller uh, earlier on this evening, and she said of the girls that have been here for four years now, the Aaron Carmody's, the Kayla Dinkins of the team, those seniors, so very excited. They're hungry for tonight's matchup because of those prior disappointments. The last WPIAL title for North Allegheny was back in 2014. So it's been uh, a couple of years now that the uh, Tigers have uh, gone without a championship because, uh, well, last year it was a loss in the quarterfinals, 2016. Then 2014 and 15, losses to Baldwin in the finals. And actually, I misspoke, it's 2013 is the last WPIAL championship for North Allegheny. So since 2013, that was the last one. And that was uh, not played here at Baldwin either. That was, if, to my best of my recollection, at Chartiers Valley yes, High School Valley, yes. against the uh, Bethel Park Blackhawks. So uh, the Tigers uh, have been here often, but have actually not won here in the championship. And so as Coach Miller had put it, they are a hungry bunch. Um, some notes on some of these individuals as the Tigers being introduced. Some key players to look out for tonight. Uh, from the Armstrong perspective, Kenzie Lasher, you mentioned her, Lee Moe, powerful hitter for Armstrong for the last four years, also a member of the girls' basketball team. Lasher, named homecoming queen this fall, led Armstrong in kills last season and was also an all-WPIAL selection. She's a pretty good basketball player, too. She scored a school record 31 points against Burl in a game uh, against Burl back in 2015 during a 59 to 45 win. So a pretty good basketball star. Her teammates on this volleyball team, Lauren Bowser and Danielle Kunst are also dual sport athletes, members of the basketball team. And as far as Lasher, the Lasher legacy, uh, head coach Andrea Lasher, uh, who led Ford City to a WPIAL title in 2014, hoping to do it again now with Armstrong. We pause for the national anthem. from Baldwin High School and uh, we're talking absolutely <laughs> terrific uh, of the Star Spangled Banner terrific rendition there and uh, North Allegheny against Armstrong in the Class Quad A Volleyball Championship very quickly we're talking about the Lashers head coach Andrea Lasher and the Lasher legacy uh, coach Lasher led Ford City to a championship in 2014 also played for Elderton High School and was a member of the 1988 Class AA state title team back then she played collegiately at Juniata. Her son Dylan Lasher is the head women's volleyball coach at Chatham University and a former player at Teal College. Her daughter Justine Lasher is currently a sophomore at Chatham and played on the 2014 Ford City Championship team. There are some other notes about the Lasher family I'd like to get to a little later on but uh, 
they're pretty good at volleyball. That's the bottom yeah. line. Yeah, I knew I was going to make a mistake the other night. I, I knew I was going to call Kenzie Dillon because I said Dillon so many times <laughs> during, during the year for, for covering for uh, the Chip Live High School Sports Network. I knew once or twice Dillon was going to come out. But, uh, yeah, Kenzie Lasher's quite the, quite the uh, ball player. We're going to be talking about her an awful lot here tonight. And for North Allegheny, Kayla Dinkins, Tulane University recruit, Micah Logan in Eastern Kentucky University recruit. And so uh, just a couple of the big names for North Allegheny. First team all section picks this year for N.A. Abby Miller, the sophomore setter, senior libero, Aaron Carmody. We mentioned Kayla Dinkins, the middle hitter. Also, Heidi Miller, congratulations to her. She is the section coach of the year award winner. Oh, wow. Congratulations, yeah. Second team all section for the Tigers, Micah Logan, outside hitter freshman Paige Miller, and middle hitter Anna Spry's honorable mentions, defensive specialist Elena Carmody, and outside hitter Avery Tubin. For Armstrong, a couple of players we mentioned, Kenzie Lasher, no surprise, she was a first team all section pick uh, in the Big 56 Conference. Junior Lauren Bowser, senior Lauren Kreitzer, also first team selections. And Andrea Lasher, congratulations to her. She was uh, their section's coach of the year winner, section four. So you have a couple of coach of the year winners going head to head here in this one. It looks like we're all ready to go after some housekeeping here at Baldwin High School. Yeah, finally. Yeah, we do have a championship match. It sounds like we were in church there for a while, didn't it? Yeah. It's like no, no noise whatsoever, but we finally uh, getting everything up underway, and uh, everybody's set, and should be a fun one here tonight. That was as quiet as you're going to hear it for the rest of the night. <laughs> Without a doubt. So don't get used to that. It's going to be loud. It always is here at Baldwin. Great championship atmosphere. Yeah, nice crowd on him. And a surprise to serve to start us off is Lasher with the dig out of the middle, a block by the Tigers, but out of bounds. And that point on the kill will go to Lauren Kreitzer. And Limon, of course, will have to do our best to help each other out. But Lauren Kreitzer with that kill. The camera perspective with Chris Lackner, you've got the bird's eye view. We're, we, we're under uh, obstruction here down low. But Micah Logan off the block, still alive, tipped in by Dickens, and we're tied 1-1. Yeah, Lasher and Sophia Duncan with the block there, but it fell on the Armstrong side. Julia Patsack will serve now for the Tigers. We're 1-1 in set one, just underway in the Quad A Volleyball Championship. Big thank you and welcome to all of you tuned in and watching this video stream here tonight. Set to Lasher, the tip handled well by Carmody, there's Dinkins with the hammer out of the middle, and it's 2-1 North Allegheny. Yeah, it's interesting too, that the student sections here, Randy, you get the student section North Allegheny to the right, but then just to the right of them, they're like very, very close with the student sections here tonight. Dinkins, we noted the Tulane University recruit, a couple of quick points, 2-1 Tigers, Julia Patsack serving it again. Set on the left side, and that brought in by Lasher for the point. No, when, yep, saying it was out. No, off the antenna and out of bounds, 3-1, North Allegheny. No, they pointed North Allegheny way. way uh, the, the, end, the end linesman threw it over to the Armstrong side. Now they're throwing it back to the Armstrong. All right, it will be a point for Lasher, so it's 2-2. Two -two. I apologize. I was right, Lemon. I apologize. The head, <laughs> now the head referee's looking. Now, no, I know, now I we're going to talk. They're going to talk things over. Yeah. This could be a redo. Yeah, because the, the head referee pointed towards North Allegheny. And they're going to take, well, guess what? It got quiet in here again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> and now they're going to give to N.A. And All right. Now Kenzie Lasher's going to come over and get an explanation. So, Lemon, you were right. Uh, I'm not taking credit <laughs> yet. They're still talking about it. 3-1, North Allegheny as that ball played out of bounds by Lasher. And it's official. <laughs> okay, last answer, it's 3-1. Patsack puts it in play. Low dig, Mazer with the set, left side goes to Lasher, but it's a double contact violation. 4-1, North Allegheny leaping out to an early lead here in set one. Tigers up by three, Patsack puts it in play. Set left side, looking for Kenzie Lasher, blocked by the Tigers. Miller left side for Paige Miller. Good low dig there by Armstrong. 
Miller, Dinkins in the back right corner for the kill. Well, Quince is doing a nice job on the, on the back line for uh, Armstrong, made a nice couple of nice digs, but Armstrong unable to finish. Dinkins, yet another kill early on. Five one Tigers, Mazer lobs it up. Back row, block in the middle by Dinkins, and a point for the Tigers. What a great start here for the Tigers, and all of Dinkins, we're gonna get a timeout taken by Armstrong right here, because it's the Kayla Dinkins show right now with the kills, the blocks. Great start here for the Tigers. We will take a quick break here in the first set, 6-1 North Allegheny on the North Allegheny Sports Network. Check out the new Trib Live High School Sports Network on social media this season. For breaking news, scores, pictures, videos, links to our articles, and more, follow us on Twitter and Instagram under the handle Trib Live HSSN. Get in the conversation on Facebook at facebook.com slash Trib Live HSSN. And on our YouTube channel, you can find thousands of interviews with local student athletes and coaches, plus highlights and full games. The spot for Western Pennsylvania High School Sports on social media this season is the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. Back at Baldwin High School, I'm Randy Gore along with Lee Moan for the Class Quad A Volleyball Championship. And it's 6-1 North Allegheny storming out of the gates, so the undefeated Tigers, top seed, Section 1 champions, right now in front of the Section 4 champions, co-champions with Oakland Catholic, but it's Armstrong that's here in the title tilt. Julia Patsack with a run of points here serving will continue. Lobs one over. Mazer left side to Lasher. Blocked by the Tigers. Backed up though by Mazer. Back to Lasher. Tipped over. Running dig by Patsack. Paige Miller from the left side. Sends it over. Dug out by Lauren Bowser. Now it's Lasher. Challenged by the Tigers block. And we have... That will hit on, on Paige Miller. Now we're getting another chip. <laughs> Referees are battling on, on who's going to get it. The head referee is going to roll over. Paige Miller is going to say, it's my call, double hit. So 6-2 is the score here in set one. I, I never saw referees yell at each other like that. <laughs> Dig by Carmody off the serve by Mazer. Paige Miller into the net with a misfire, and Armstrong has cut it to a 6-3 score. Well, I'm glad this is on video stream yeah. tonight because it goes to prove that I'm not being hesitant. We're yeah. just not sure what's happening because the officials aren't quite sure what's <laughs> happening, at least so far. 6-3, Mazur with the southpaw serve. Dug out by Carmody from the back row in the middle. Dinkins for the kill, and it's 7-3, North Allegheny. Well, I was wondering if Aaron Carmody was going to let that go long, but it, it's one of those border lines, but nice, perfect set as Avery Schumann checks back in, or checks in. Dinkins with three kills so far. She has been on fire in the postseason. Paige Miller serves, and an ace for Miller. 8-3, North Allegheny. Yeah, during our next time out, we need, we need to send congratulations to uh, North Allegheny state title winner later on during our next time out here. Paige Miller off the serve. Mazer back set to Lasher on the right side. Dug out there by Patsack, over to Dinkins. On the set by Miller, Kayla Dinkins and Abby Miller are cranked up. Dinkins makes it 9-3 to three now, North Allegheny. That play was set up there by Pat Sack with a great dig. Dinkins, four kills. She was our right automotive player of the game on Thursday night in the semifinal win over Hempfield. And we had no choice but to give it to her. <laughs> Lasher inbounds in the back right quarter. And that one right in front of us. We can agree to disagree, Randy. And it's 9-4. to four. <laughs> Nice dance by the referee, though, getting out of the way. And here's, we, we were calling this the corner kick here, Dylan Lasher to where she stands. <laughs> out of the corner with a leaping right-handed serve, indeed. Carmody digs, Miller back set to Dinkins. And Kayla Dinkins with yet another kill. 10-4, North Allegheny. Yeah, that went through you. You heard me call Kenzie your brother again? <laughs> so, I, knew. I, I only realized it after you uh, put, hit my head. <laughs> yeah, after you put palm to forehead. Like, oh, jeez. Mazer sets left side and kill for Armstrong. As this time it's Lauren Bowser to cut it to a 10-5 score, favoring North Allegheny. 
That'll be Danielle Kuntz, the libero. Putting it in play, Dig Carmody. Miller the set on the right side, tipped by Spries, but a emphatic block coming from Bowser, 10-6. Yeah, nice adjustment of Bowser all over that one. Anticipated that tip coming exceptionally well, did Bowser. Lobbed over serve, that might have been going out of bounds on the near side, but Patsack plays it, Miller lobs it over. Now Mazur. And a good set by Mazur to Lauren Kreitzer for the kill, 10-7. So Tigers taking a serve that maybe was going to go out of bounds, and Armstrong taking advantage. Tigers had a quick 6-1 lead in this one. But right now it's 10-7, the lead trimmed to three. Avery Tooman from the left side, Lasher the dig. Mazur the setter, back to Lasher, she'll tip it into the middle, Aaron Carmody ready. Now a tip by Spries for the point. And a surprise makes it 11 7 North Allegheny. Yeah, nice set there as uh, Logan will check in. Michael Logan, the senior. Abby Miller, the talented sophomore setter, serves it, but out of bounds. Service air, 11 8. You give credit to Armstrong after falling down 6 to 1, Randy. They really. Held nicely, covered nicely after the early morning or the early game jitters. Emma Halutik off the serve. Tigers. Taylor Helkowski plays it over. Mazer the set on the left side. Good block by the Tigers. Still alive. Mazer will go back to Lasher. Leaning dig by Carmody. Back set Miller for Logan and the kill. Michael Logan, the Eastern Kentucky. Recruits makes it 12-8 North Allegheny. Yeah, nice to get Micah involved on that front line. She's got some hops in her. Good job is up. Paige Miller's going to check back in. Micah oh. Logan, her father, Mike Logan, who won a Super Bowl with the Pittsburgh Steelers in 2005. Are you shaking hands with Mr. Dinkins or Mr. Logan? Or Mr. Mr. Dinkins. Dinkins. Mr. Dinkins? Okay. Yeah, Kayla Dinkins' father. He's another former NFL player as yeah. well, Darnell Dinkins. He's quite the specimen. <laughs> He looks like he could still go out there and play. Paige Miller with a kill for North Allegheny. 14-8 Tigers. Yeah, that was the first time I've been up close to uh, uh, Mr. Dinkins. And yeah, he's, he's quite the uh, specimen. The whole family out yeah. to support Kayla, his uh, mom, dad, and uh, Kayla's two younger brothers here tonight rooting her on and the rest of the Lady Tigers. In the middle, block attempt by the Tigers. Tigers keep it alive though, Miller just clips the top of the net, diving effort there by Lasher and company, able to get it across, Spries hammers the ball, but Armstrong keeps it alive, Bowser plays it over, running dig, great volley here, now it's Logan's turn, and the, well, still a rally, but four hits now on Armstrong, and the kill will go to Michael Logan, 15-8. North Allegheny. Yeah, somehow Kenzie got that, Kenzie Lasher got the second hit. Somehow she was able to get that ball in the air, but not high enough. Armstrong unable to get the point. Elena Carmody off the serve. Here's Lasher, plays it over. Low dig by Aaron Carmody. Set left side for Paige Miller. She's blocked. Tigers back it up, though. Now it's Elena Carmody and over. Armstrong scrambling and eventually lobbed across by Kenzie Walker. Here's Spries, that off the block of the Riverhawks and out of bounds, point two North Allegheny, so Spries will get the point, and it's 16-8 North Allegheny. Yeah, I thought maybe it went off the net, but they rolled to hit the fingertips also, including the net. And an ace for Elena Carmody, diving effort by Bowser. Couldn't quite get to it. Tigers now taking command here in the first set, 17-8. Big time command. Dangerous proposition at the moment and position to be in for Armstrong. Carmody lobs this serve over. Mazur back set to Bowser. Blocked by Miller and Spries. And the ball comes back to Paige Miller, who finishes it off emphatically. It's 18. No, they're going to call that. They're, they're going to call Paige Miller, I think, oh, over my the apologies. net. Foul on the Tigers, so 
and it's 17-9. I was wondering why the coach for Armstrong was uh, clapping. Yeah. That's why. Violation on N.A., 17-9, and here's Michael Logan. This time the point for the Tigers. 18-9, your score in set one. Boy, going down that near side, just stayed in, in bounds. And Dinkins will check back in. Surprise will check out, and Flanders will come in to serve. Grace Flanders, senior defensive specialist, surveys the scene and puts the right hand on the volleyball on the serve. Mazer up to Lasher, blocked by, partially blocked by Dinkins, but has to keep it alive. Now over to Logan, blocked by Armstrong. Tigers still keep it alive. Dinkins with a tip. Armstrong sends it back over and the point for Armstrong. And this belongs to Kreitzer, Lauren Kreitzer, the senior middle blocker. Yeah, somehow got the left hand on it, did Kreitzer. So Kreitzer cuts it to an eight-point score in set one. 18 to 10, favoring North Allegheny. And Kreitzer serves it up. Miller to Dinkins. A little bit of a misfire there, but she was able to still get it across. Mazer the tip, and despite a great diving effort by Carmody, the point will go to Armstrong, and it's 18 to 11. Armstrong here with a couple points. Kreitzer, line drive, serve, and it is inbounds, an ace for Kreitzer. Tigers let it drop, but the ace ruled that it's 18-12. Yeah, Aaron Carmody was going to hit it and then pulled out at the last second, and wrong, wrong decision there. Six-point lead now for N.A. Kreitzer, another line drive, serve, low dig by Elena Carmody. Abby to Page. And unable to get enough on it on the tip into the net. 18-13, a little bit of a run now. A much needed run for the Riverhawks. Kreitzer has been leading the way, a block, an ace, and continues to serve. Back row, Aaron Carmody. Abby to Paige Miller and the kill. Get with, with the sisters out there, it's easier to just go first name. Yeah, and then good job there setting her up. They, they look like they're going to go to Dinkins, but cross over to Paige. Easy job as uh, Pat Sack will serve. 19-13 Tigers. Dig Bowser, Mazer, left side to Lasher, blocked by Dinkins. 20-13, North Allegheny. Well, she wants another automotive, great automotive player of the game, doesn't she? <laughs> wow, she's playing well. Second block unofficially in this set. She has five kills. And she is on fire so far. Patsack puts it in play. Dig by Kunst. Bowser from the back row. Low dig by Patsack. Beautifully done. Paige Miller left side. Dig Bowser. Mazer over to Lasher. Paige Miller digs it out. Abby back to Page, too long this time. And it's 20 to 14, Tigers lead is six. Delaney Mazer, the senior setter. Couple of dribbles of the volleyball, whistled for play. And with the left-handed serve. Abby Miller to Dinkins in the middle, she's denied, but the Tigers back it up. Carmody over to Page Miller, dig by Lasher. Mazer up to Bowser and across. Abby Miller back set to Dinkins, blocked, and it's Lasher for the denial. 20 to 15, Armstrong still hanging around here in set one. Yeah, good job by Lasher in that front line. Mazer continues to serve. Dig Aaron Carmody. Abby Miller looks to Paige Miller, and the kill. Off the block of the Riverhawks, 21-15, North Allegheny. Yeah, dunk, just a, went off of Sophia Duncan. But it went sideways on the Armstrong side. Abby Miller will serve. Avery Tooman checks back in. Four kills for Paige Miller unofficially in the set. 
Blocked by Dinkins. Actually went off her head, but a fortunate bounce. And <laughs> she has a big smile on her face. She yeah. didn't intend it to be that way, but she'll take it. She thought it went backwards. She thought it went in the NA side. It went forward. When it's going good, it's going good. Yeah. And right now, it's going really well for Kayla Dinkins. And while we have a quick stoppage in play, we're mm -hmm. talking about Dinkins and her father and her family. Kayla's father, Darnell, former NFL tight end. He won a Super Bowl with the New Orleans Saints with Drew Brees throwing passes to him. So uh, had a great NFL career. And uh, his daughter having a great volleyball career here with North Allegheny and surely will continue at Tulane. Lasher blocked, but out of bounds off the Tigers block. Give Lasher the kill. And it's 22-16. Yeah, give credit to Darnell, too, because he wasn't a tight end anywhere along the way. You know, he, he got thrown into that uh, position, and he's he done it well. Yeah, played at uh, the University of Pittsburgh at Shenley High School before that. As we have Carmody racing in. Can the Tigers keep it alive? Pat Sack over. What a great job there by the Tigers. Almost disaster. Pat Sack covering every floorboard defensively. Helkowski too long, though. 22-17, Armstrong within five. Yeah, it was a great effort by, by Batsack. Is that Dylan, La or Kenzie Lasher with that, that weird serve that she has. Avery Tubin, dig by Lasher. Dumped by Abby Miller, but net contact. Yeah, definitely. Just waiting for it to call that. 22-18, four-point score in set one. Yeah, a lot of net on that. Abby Miller trying to make an adjustment midair. Patsack, another fine dig. Here's two men into the net. And Armstrong within three, 22-19. I thought maybe we might see a timeout here, but we're not going to see that timeout. Kowski checks out. And Chomos comes in. The spark off the bench, Kristen Chomos had a fine effort, I understand, on Thursday night. Oh, yeah. Chomos immediately with a dig. Carmody over to Powell. There we go. Patsack and Miller. Miscommunication between those two. They both wanted it. Neither really took command. And now it's 22 to 20. And Armstrong believing here is the Tigers. It's been self-inflicted wounds here over the last few points. Yeah, give credit to Armstrong. I mean, they've been playing well here these last... Uh, few points, but uh, real quick, I wanted to get, before we forget, I want to show sure. our congratulations oh, yeah. to our tennis champion. Ashley Wang. Yes. Ashley Wang, state champion in the singles. How about that? That's just a great job. And uh, uh, good job for the cross country team finishing fourth. Uh, the, I mean, the, the, girl, girls. the girls finished fourth, boys finished 12th in the cross country championships. And so, I mean, great job out there in Hershey. And Clara Savchik with a silver Second. medal. Second place finish uh, in the girls' cross country uh, individual portion of that. Yeah, she only lost by six seconds, too. <laughs> That's not far. It's basically, well, it takes us longer to run the length of the floor, but you know. <laughs> I can't even get from, from our broadcast table to the exit door in six seconds, so. Probably not. Well, or, or wherever. Yeah, I can't get yeah. anywhere in six seconds. But anyways, so. congratulations to them. It's a great day up at, out in Hershey. So, yeah, congrats to all of our uh, state competitors here at North Allegheny. Right now, the Lady Tigers in volleyball trying to uh, win a WPIAL title. But Armstrong with other thoughts in mind. A kill from the right side. Emma Halutic, the junior opposite. And it's just 22 to 21 now. Armstrong has been behind since this set started, but just one point away from tying it late and a block in the middle. Great diving dig by Carmody, but the point for Armstrong. And this Armstrong, Armstrong that team on fire right now. All starting with the service, service by Kenzie Lasher. All even, 22-22. In set one, Dig Carmody floats toward the net, the joust, and it's won by Abby Miller. Tigers regain the lead, 23-22. Tigers had their handfuls the other night against Hempfield in the first game. They were down 24-22, and uh, they faced three set points because they're down 26-25, and they were able to creep that first set out. Armstrong returning the favor right now. Mazur up to, up to Bowser for the kill. We're even, 23-23. Well, 
What a nice first set here. As well as it's be expected between number one and number two. Absolutely. This is exactly what you expected. Tomos the dig. Tuman up to Spries. Tie score here late in set one. That time Bowser plays it across for, for Armstrong. Miller, Abby Miller sends it over. Out of the middle, it's Kreitzer and the kill. Kristen Chomos will do anything to get to that ball. And you love the effort, but uh, that ball into the North Allegheny student section. And now Armstrong, one point away from taking set one. Armstrong trailed this entire set, but can lead it when it matters most. The serve. Abby Miller to Tubin. And the kill for Avery Tubin. 24-24, how many times, and we've seen this North Allegheny team all year, how many times have they had the backs, their backs to the wall in a given set and somehow pulled out an improbable win? Yeah, see if we can do it again, but boy, that's a clutch hit there by Tuman. That was on the money by Tuman. Mazer to Kreitzer the kill. Armstrong jumps back in front, 25-24. They have their uh, first, second, or, yeah, the second uh, set here chance to close this one out. Timeout called from Baldwin, and we'll keep it here this late in the set. We want to stay with this one, but uh, well, what an opening set we've had thus far is uh, North Allegheny stormed out of the gates with a 6-1 to lead and held an 18-9 to advantage at its largest point. A nine-point lead at 18-9, to but Armstrong chipping away, chipping away, and now has grabbed the lead, 25 to 24. Kreitzer with the last kill moments ago. And Kreitzer has had a fine set. Three kills unofficially with an ace and a block along the way. And it was cruising. Looks like they're just gonna just walk, all, all, walk all over Armstrong here in the first set. But Tell you, it all started with uh, Kenzie Lasher getting this team going on, with all their serves and chance to win the first set here. Emma Halutik will serve once we're ready for play. The whistle blows. Halutik trying to give Armstrong a win in set one. Paige Miller the dig. Floats toward the net. Miller back towards Spries, but an over the net call there on Kreitzer. And that evens the score, 25-25. And we have a pretty good look at the net from our vantage point. Maybe not a great look at some other things <laughs> yeah. on the floor here because we are blocked off a bit by the uh, R1. But we had a great look at that violation. It certainly was the over the net there on Kreitzer. So we're tied again, 25 up. Elena Carmody on that serve. Mazer, the set in the middle to Bowser and over. Carmody gets it to Miller. Off the block for the point, Paige Miller and the Tigers back ahead, 26-25. Now they have a chance to close this out. They beat Hemfield the other night, the first set, 28-26. This one going some extra time. Five kills for Paige Miller and a timeout yet again here in the first set. Well, we were talking about North Allegheny and, and what they've done throughout the year. We covered a match at Pine Richland, the Tigers in the, in the fourth set. We're down big, rallied back. Uh, they were down, you know, it was, it was set point, and they came back to win that set and claim the match. Same thing at Seneca Valley. Uh, they had a hefty deficit on the road there. So here, it was North Allegheny really in control this whole time up until the very end. Armstrong had two chances to win this set at 24-23 and 25-24, but unable to seal the deal yet. Now it's the Tigers' opportunity to try and seal the deal right here in set one. Elena Carmody will try to do it. So the Tigers have been a resilient bunch this year. Elena Carmody, low line drive serve. Lasher the dig, up to Kreitzer the tip. Elena Carmody with the running dig. Up to Logan, off the block for the point, and the Tigers win set one, 27 to 25. Micah Logan gets the tip, and the Tigers on top, and winning set one to take a 1-0 match lead. We'll take a break on the North Allegheny Sports Network. 
Athlete Training, we personalize the training sessions for any athlete in any sport. We pride ourselves on preparing our athletes for their upcoming seasons. We offer 60-minute personal training sessions for both male and female athletes. As a former NFL player and coach, we'll provide you with a realistic expectation both athletically and academically as you prepare to meet your goals on the field and in the classroom. Call 412-713-4550 to schedule a free training session and let Ethic Training put you on your road to success. Train the Ethic way today. The team at UPMC Sports Medicine doesn't just rebuild wrists and knees. They build better athletes. Athletes at every level who want to get stronger and faster and prevent injuries. Fact is, no other sports medicine program in the region is more experienced when it comes to treating, training, and inspiring athletes. UPMC, the official health care provider of the Penguins, Steelers, and you. Find out more at upmcsportsmedicine.com. AstroTurf, a pioneer in sports surfacing, proudly supports high school athletics. Visit one of their 280 fields in the tri-state area to see their cutting-edge technology. AstroTurf's focus on R&D enables them to provide innovative surfaces that protect athletes and stand the test of time. AstroTurf now propels performance with iconic turf fields and legendary record tan tracks. They manufacture, build, and maintain a full range of turf and track systems for total quality control. Learn more at AstroTurf.com. Monticello's Italian Restaurant has been serving the Pittsburgh community for over 34 years. With over five northern locations, there is one near you. Monticello's has been named the best pizza, best hoagies, and best Italian restaurant by the Tribune Review for three years in a row. Stop in at Monticello's Restaurant before or after your high school football game and mention that you heard us on the MSA Sports Network and receive a large traditional cheese pizza and four soft drinks for $12.99. For the complete menu and additional information, go to Monticello's Monticello's.com. Monticello's a Pittsburgh favorite. Welcome back to Baldwin High School. I'm Randy Gore along with Lee Moan. Some unofficial numbers. Paige Miller with five kills in that set. Kayla Dinkins, five kills, a couple of blocks. Lauren Kreitzer, three kills and a block and an ace for Armstrong. But uh, North Allegheny and set one winners 27 to 25 in thrilling fashion as we continue along here, Limon. Yeah, somebody got a picture of us on Twitter. How about that? Oh, very nice. I yeah. wonder who did that. I think Kyle did it for the uh, Trib Live High School Sports Network. <laughs> Thank you, Kyle it's, Dawson. It's my guess, anyways. Getting the mullet out there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's That's been an inside uh, joke. <laughs> It's a uh, fun start here for North Allegheny. Armstrong will try to rebound here in set two. It is Bowser who serves. Bowser clips the top of the net, but kept alive by the Tigers. Block by the Armstrong right side. Mazur and company. Elena Carmody lobs it over. Now Mazur to Kreitzer, blocked by the Tigers. Mazur will go left side to Lasher. No block this time. Kenzie Lasher, the first team all section pick in section four, an all WPIAL selection last year, one to nothing, the lead Armstrong. Hey, I, I warned you about Kenzie Lasher. She had an outstanding night the other night against Senfield and starting off well here now. To Logan, handled by Armstrong. Now it's Lasher, the tip, running dig by Carmody. Left side, it's Paige Miller for the kill. And it's 1-1, North Allegheny evening the score. Darren Carmody, she played outstanding the other night with the digs, and since she was our runner-up to the right on a player game the other night, but she's gonna check out, and Spryze will come in to serve. Mazur, the dump, but carry. a carry on the setter, Mazur. Tigers with a 2-1 advantage. Again, when we see it, you know it's a carry. 2-1 <laughs> North Allegheny in set two after winning set one, 27-25. Out of the middle, Kreitzer for the point. 
and Armstrong has even the score two to two. Boy, somehow that snuck through Miller and Dinkins. Kreitzer serving. Elena Carmody off the dig. Middle for Dinkins. Lasher responds, but out of bounds. Tried to go cross court, but out of bounds on the far side. 3-2 North Allegheny. Yeah, Kenzie Lasher can hit a ball as hard as anybody. That one just going wide. And with the Chatham University connection, you wonder if uh, Kenzie may be going there. Dylan Lasher, her older brother, the head women's volleyball coach at Chatham, and her older sister Justine, a star player there. Or do you like to get away from your older brother? <laughs> As much as the Lashers enjoy volleyball, I would not be surprised to see them all together at Chatham. Bowser plays it over. Tigers with the dump. But Armstrong ready. Great rallying effort there by Danielle Kuntz from the left side, Paige Miller. Now Mazur lobs it up. Block on Lasher by Dinkins, but kept alive. And the Tigers with the point. As North Allegheny's Abby Miller makes it four to two. Yeah, Abby Miller with a second hit with the left hand, catching Armstrong a little bit off guard, but nice rally between these two teams. Patsack. And now Lasher blocked at the net. That was now hit. they're gonna call yeah. four hits. Yeah. That ball into the net, four hits on Armstrong. And North Allegheny jumping out five to two. If it would have went over, it would have been blocked easily by Tankins. He was right there. Mazur goes left side for Lasher in the kill. Kenzie Lasher. They talked about uh, you know, Chatham University, her older brother Dylan. Kenzie's older brother, of course, Dylan, uh, helping Chatham along with her older sister Justina Blair, their sophomore, to a 17 and 11 season, reaching the PAC quarterfinals, the President's Athletic Conference. That's the best season in Chatham program history. Dylan Lasher taking over a program that was one in. 113 before his arrival, the four years before his arrival as an assistant coach. So you think he's turned that program around? Uh, and he, just get two or three wins in a year, you're turning it around. But how about that? 17 and 11, I believe it was. You yeah. There and, yeah. And then, wow, it's a great job. Out of bounds, service air on Mazer. 6 4, North Allegheny jumps back to a two point lead. I don't think I've ever heard of such a worse record than that. Yeah, yeah that is. Uh, over That's a an five-year term. Yeah, an exhibition in futility there before the Lashers uh, made their appearance on campus at Chatham University. Might so. be Lasher University pretty soon, huh? <laughs> they, they should very well <laughs> rename the entire, at least the volleyball program yeah. after them for what they've done. Excellent job. Out of the middle, Bowser, but the Tigers with a tip. And it again, again is Abby Miller, 7-4, North Allegheny. Coach Coons, uh, Coach Lasher, the coach's staff over there in Armstrong looking for a foul on the Tigers. Did not happen. Right side, Lasher will get a kill this time. Reaching out with the left arm was Aaron Carmody. Couldn't keep it in play. 7-5, North Allegheny's lead trimmed to two. Lasher, two kills in this set. Off the Lasher serve, Abby Miller to Page, too long. 7-6, lead is one now for North Allegheny. Yeah, I remember uh, Elderton High School back uh, in Elderton, PA, where uh, Coach Lasher was at. Of course, I don't remember her playing, but I'm old enough to remember her playing. <laughs> A rocket there by Dinkins, but Lasher digs it. Tipped by Bowser. From the left side, Avery Tubin. Mazur. Looks to Lasher from the back row. Out of the middle to Dinkins. Kept alive, though, by Bowser. Great volley here. Mazur looks to Bowser. Off the block, but still alive of North Allegheny. To the left side, Tooman, diving play by Bowser, punches it across. Miller for the kill, Abby Miller. 8-6, North Allegheny. I'm on press row, I'm not allowed to stand. What a great volley meeting between those two teams. Lasher 
and uh, Bowser just flying all over this place with these pancake digs. The Tigers finally getting the point. Aaron Carmody on the serve, bit of a scramble here, but eventually played over by Armstrong Sophia Duncan. Back row Miller with a line drive kill. Unable to dig it out, the libero Koontz made a diving try at it. But now North Allegheny's lead back up to three at 9-6. Laney Major Tyner shoe. You know, Kayla Dinkins came out on fire, but Paige Miller has uh, really held her own here for North Allegheny, racking up some kills. And digs. <laughs> yeah, indeed. Joust. Well kept alive, though. Bowser off the Tigers block. Left side. Points for Avery Tubin. And the North Allegheny Tigers make it 10-6. Assist. Patsack again flying to the floor to keep that ball alive. She has been fantastic with her dig so far. 10-6 Tigers is Carmody, Aaron Carmody on the serve. Mazur will pass it off to Bowser. Good recovery there by Lasher off the block. Now Duncan with the block for Armstrong. 10-7, Riverhawks down by three. And Kreitzer will check back in on the front line for Duncan. We're in set two, Tigers leading. 1-0 in the match score in the Class Quad A Volleyball Championship. Point for Anna Spryze, and it's 11-7, North Allegheny. Yeah, I, I, we have a sign behind us for Spryze, Chubby Chubs. I would like to know what that means, but uh, <laughs> as they just laugh right now, so. <laughs> Some type of nickname for Spryze. Logan lobs one over. Lasher dug out by Aaron Carmody. Pancake dig by Lasher. Terrific play. And then tipped over by Halutic. Left side, Tuman for the kill in the back right quarter. Oh, a lot of tremendous play right there. Remarkable volley, but the Tigers win the point. I'll tell you, Armstrong is doing a fantastic job, but unfortunately, as Armstrong's going to call a timeout, they've been in defensive mode most of the time, and they can't get on the offense. Uh, you're absolutely right. Armstrong has been on their heels. Really, this entire match, they battled, and at one point took the lead late in set one and uh, had North Allegheny kind of on the edge there. But uh, for the most part, Armstrong has been on their heels, and they have to try and avoid that somehow and, and, and be in the more advantageous position, be more the aggressor, if you will, rather than the one trying to protect your own floor. That's really been the case thus far. And earlier today, Seneca Valley defeated Hempfield in the consolation match, three games to none. So Seneca Valley qualifies for the uh, PIAA playoffs. They will, all the PIAA playoffs start on Tuesday. Seneca Valley will get the winner of District 6 or District 10, which is Altoona area or Erie area. The winner of this match today will get the District 3 uh, third seed, and the loser of this match gets the City League champion of District 8. All of the playoffs start on Tuesday. Now a lot of exciting volleyball action, and at least from the WPIAL portion, comes to a conclusion today, but everyone moving on to the states, or at least the top three. You mentioned Seneca Valley winning that third seed in the WPIAL. Misfire out of the timeout by Bowser. Yeah, we got a long way to go, but it sure be nice to see another Seneca Valley in a rematch in volleyball. Tigers up 13-7 after that miss hit. In the middle, Kreitzer in the back right corner, able to drop that in for a point, 13-8. Yeah, all the state playoffs on all the sports, Tuesday, Saturday, Tuesday, Saturday. Makes it nice and easy to know yeah. when they're playing, just a matter of where. Service error by Emma Halutic. 14-8, North Allegheny's advantage is six. Yeah, I, be I believe this is gonna be the second year in a row that the uh, uh, girls volleyball state championships will be at Richland High School in Johnstown. Elena Carmody, a few dribbles of the volleyball and the right-handed serve. And Elena Carmody with an ace. And the Tigers bench celebrating that point. 
choreographed celebration. 15-8 <laughs> North Allegheny. Mazer up to Kreitzer. Now back set to Logan. She's blocked. Good dig, though, by Aaron Carmody. Logan will try again. Armstrong rallies to it. Now it's Lasher off the Tigers block. Left side. Tigers play it over. It's dug out by Lasher. Miller back set to Logan. And off the block, good for a point. Micah Logan, and it's 16-8, North Allegheny. Get another long rally between these two teams. The Tigers able to uh, finish off. And now we're getting Coach Miller and the referee talking about something over there. The referee. Well, if you missed our open to the broadcast, Coach Heidi Miller for North Allegheny and Coach Andrea Lasher for Armstrong winning their respective sections. Coach of the Year award winner, or recipients, Coach of the Year awards, uh, both of those coaches. So we, uh, we offer our congrats to them, although they're more concerned with what's uh, going on right now, and that's uh, this Class Quad A Volleyball Championship point for Kreitzer, and Armstrong down 16 to nine. Served by Bowser, but a service error. Yeah, that's one thing we haven't seen too much today. I mean, it's been good serving on both sides here today. You know, a lot of uh, long uh, service errors. Unlike the other night for the all four semifinalists, not the best serving night for the teams. Grace Flanders, low dig by Lasher. Tip by Kreitzer, point for Kreitzer. That's her fourth point of the set. And she continues a strong night, 17 to 10. Nice effort there by Flanders, but just couldn't get it high enough and she exits. Kuntz checking out for a brief rest for Armstrong. I didn't even have to see who it was. I could hear it, Lee Moan. I could hear it. It was Kayla Dinkins. I, I, I was waiting for you to say it because I, I figured that's what it was. No, I'm, I appreciate yeah. you. You Lee can Mo tell by the velocity. <laughs> Lee Moan's been helping him, helping me out because partial my vantage point partially blocked the camera perspective. You guys have it great at home watching this one wherever you may be. Joust won by the Tigers, and it's Abby Miller, 1910 North Allegheny. But that previous point we were speaking of from down here, the sound resonated throughout Baldwin's gymnasium. Kayla Dinkins. They yeah, give you three guesses. The first two don't count. The ace for Carmody. <laughs> Elena Carmody. Or Julie, excuse me, Julia Patzak. Uh, it was Elena. Elena Carmody, my apologies, with that ace. So 20 to 10. North Allegheny, we have a timeout here. We're going to take a quick break as well. Late in set two, North Allegheny with the match lead at the moment. One to nothing. For the most complete recap of Friday night's high school football action, tune in on your way home from the game to the WPIAL Scoreboard Show, only here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Hi, this is Don Rebel. Join me in a cast of thousands for all the scores with recaps from the top games, plus we highlight the night on the Trib Live Roundtable. That's the WPIAL Scoreboard Show after the game on Friday nights on the Trib Live High School Sports Network and at tribhssn.triblive.com. Back in set two here from the Class Quad A Girls Volleyball Championship, 20 to 10, North Allegheny in front. In the second set, already with a 1-0 match lead, Mazer with a dump attempt. Back set to Dinkins, off the block, and out of bounds, point two. I thought it went off the net. Point yeah, that's why I'm gonna double check but here. It is a point two North Allegheny. I wanted to make sure it wasn't, no, it is Armstrong's point. That was out, initially out of bounds off the antenna. So it okay. is Armstrong's point, 22-11. That's what I saw, but that doesn't mean it Well, I it agree, happened. I saw the same thing. That's why I was a little hesitant. So indeed, it was Armstrong's point. Lasher up to Mazer and lobbed over. Patsack diving effort for the dig. From the left side, Paige Miller blocked by Duncan, still alive though. And from the near side, Abby Miller too long. 20 to 12, Armstrong trying to chip away. They chipped away in set one and had a lead late in the set but could not seal the deal. It's a little later to chip though. 
than the first set. Out of the middle. It's Paige Miller to make it 21-12, North Allegheny. Just catching the inside line. That's why I waited there. I thought maybe it was going to be out, but went in. So 21-12, as you said. Now it's Paige to serve. 21-12 in set two, North Allegheny leading. Mazer up to Lasher. And the kill for Kenzie Lasher. They need a few more of those, though. As Halkowski checks in, Paige Miller will have a seat. Here's that serve from Kenzie Lasher, low liner. Dug out by Aaron Carmody, and it sets up Kayla Dinkins for the kill. 22-13, North Allegheny. Do you like her description of the uh, corner kick, though? Yeah, it is. <laughs> it's a weird standing on the side and then running over. But nonetheless, Tigers with a big nine-point lead. And coming in to serve now is Malia Duffy. Off the serve by Duffy. Ball off the dig, comes floating back toward the net, and Anna Spries punishes it. 23-13, North Allegheny. Kunz was charging up to try to corral it, and the ball hit behind her. Duffy with a service air, 23-14. Coach Miller likes to get a lot of people involved, and she did the other night. It's a deep bench for the Tigers. Oh, yeah. Be ready when you're called. Over the middle of the net, and Kreitzer will pick up the point, 23-15. Armstrong needs a run here. They need about eight or nine points here from Kunz. Four points out of Kreitzer so far in the set, three from Lasher for Armstrong. As Kunz. Off that serve, plays it over, dump by Abby Miller. And it's 24-15, North Allegheny a point away from set two. Serve for Abby. Mazer up to Kreitzer in the middle. But too long, and North Allegheny wins the second set, 25-15. North Allegheny more so able to cruise in set two, and now have a 2-0 match lead in the Class Quad A Girls Volleyball Championship. We'll be right back with more on the North Allegheny Sports Network and Trib Live High School Sports Network. The new Trib Live High School Sports Network is the place to go every day this fall. On Mondays, we have the latest top 10 football rankings. Also on Monday, we check in on the former district stars now making the grade in college with WPIAL alum Q&A. Tuesday is a look back at the biggest and best plays from the previous Scholastic Football Weekend with the Plays of the Week. We go big game hunting on Wednesday with a preview of the top WPIAL football contests. I'll look into my crystal ball on Thursday with the wildly popular Chicks Picks. A complete rundown of all the games comes your way on Friday, plus plenty of broadcasts to choose from on Friday nights. On Saturday, we'll take a look at the top performances with Friday night highlights. Then on Sunday, a look back at the previous day's high school standouts with Saturday's Scholastic Stars. This fall, the place to go for all of your high school sports coverage every day of the week is the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. Log on every Wednesday night at 7 o'clock for the latest high school football news during this week in the WPIAL, only here on the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. Join Don Rebel and other members of the Trib Live High School Sports Network team as it visits with WPIAL football coaches, plus they run down the upcoming schedule and preview the weekend's top high school football games. That's this week in the WPIAL, every Wednesday at 7 p.m. this fall, only on the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. People ask what drives me. 
It's the respect I have for my opponents, the trust I have in my teammates, a coach who treats me with dignity, and a university that has faith in me on and off the field. That's what keeps me focused, why I practice harder, play my heart out. I play to win. I play for Carlo. Tell us your story using hashtag what drives you. Carlo University is a proud sponsor of the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Back on the North Allegheny Sports Network, Trib Live High School Sports Network. And North Allegheny winning set one, 27 to 25, victorious in set two, 25-15. Paige Miller, three kills. Kayla Dinkins, a couple of kills for uh, Armstrong in set two. Those are set two numbers, by the way, for Paige and Kayla. In set two, uh, Kreitzer, four kills. Lasher, three kills for Armstrong. Lauren Kreitzer and Kenzie Lasher. And uh, they have been strong tonight, Armstrong, but uh, unable to finish in set one. And set two, the Tigers were able to put it in cruise control as our, uh, one of our back flag <laughs> officials enjoying the YMCA. Yeah, I'll give you some useless knowledge like you have. Okay. Um, uh, it was the policeman in the village uh, village people. Uh-huh. He was a radio announcer in D.C. when I was down there, known as the Grease Man. Really? Yes. Well, that's, that, that, that <laughs> is Believe interesting. Well, the YMCA uh, getting everyone pumped up here before set three. Kreitzer for the kill. And Armstrong jumps out to a one nothing lead, and that has been a rarity today for Armstrong in owning a lead of any sort. I think it's the first one today. Well, they had uh, they had a lead late in set oh, one, the, if you the recall. One. Yeah, the set one lead. Yeah, yeah, a couple of times. And actually had a one nothing lead in set two. That was the last time they led. But yeah. here it's 2-0 Armstrong, another point. Their biggest lead <laughs> night with the 2-0 lead. No doubt about that. And we talked about how Armstrong's been on their heels. The Riverhawks have been on their heels most of the uh, match so far tonight. Here now with a 2 nothing lead. Let's see if they can be more so the aggressors in this third set. Miller trying to get the ball back to Dinkins, but it's another point for Armstrong, 3-0. That's the way you want to start here in set number three. Lauren Kreitzer will serve it again. She's had a terrific night thus far. Bit of a scramble, but Paige Miller lobs it over. Mazur sets left side for Lasher off the Tigers block. Carmody up to Elena Carmody. Dug out by Kinsey Walker. Back row, Bowser. Miller now left side to Paige Miller. She's blocked, but Aaron Carmody backs it up. Abby to Kayla Dinkins with the tip, handled by Armstrong. Abby Miller to Dinkins again. Armstrong, Armstrong can't handle this one. And North Allegheny on the board, three to one. Another great rally between these two teams with Pat Saxon coming to serve. And Michael Logan has a seat. Pat Sack. Brings the serve out of the middle, Lasher the tip. And three Lady Tigers diving for it, but the point to Armstrong. Yeah, they're gonna say uh, none of the Tigers are able to get that ball in the air. They said everybody dove. Somebody got a piece of it, but going to get the point. We're one Armstrong. Well played by Lasher that time. Service error here. And now four to two, Tigers within two. Avery Toomans going to check in for the Tigers here on the front line. Avery's, Elena Carmody checks out. Yeah, Avery's been kind of quiet here today. Paige Miller on the serve. Mazur on the third hit, plays it over. Abby Miller left side to Avery Tooman, the cross-court tip. In the middle, Duncan, too long. Good decision there by, by Paige Miller. Let that ball go along. Coach Miller giving some words of advice to Avery Tooman. Tigers trail by one, 4-3, and an ace for Paige Miller. 4-4, four, four, we're even. Armstrong in their first ever WPIAL title game. North Allegheny, for the fourth time in the last five years, have been here. Last championship in 2013, a victory against Bethel Park. Lasher. 
Finds the back right corner, Kenzie Lasher. And it's 5-4 Armstrong. We have the NA fans behind us. You can, see, you can hear the U and the on of that one. That was that close. Very close play. Ball right in front of the back flag official. At least I don't have to say I'm 100 yards away in this, this one. <laughs> Abby Miller right back set to Kayla Dinkins for the kill. It, another high velocity effort from Dinkins. The ball just sounds different. You hear, we talk about baseball, when the ball comes off the bat differently, it comes off her hand differently. The sound. That's a great analogy. <laughs> you often hear about particular hitters where they say it's a different sound of the ball coming off the bat. Here, when Kayla Dinkins swings, it is a different sound of the volleyball coming off her right arm than it is many other players that you'll find. Taylor Helkowski into the net. And Armstrong back ahead, six to five in set three. North Allegheny with the match lead, two nothing. Again, Aaron Carmody again with a nice, great, nice dig there. She's having herself another fine match. Koontz serves. Patsack the dig. Abby Miller to Spries, looking for a mid-air adjustment. That ball wasn't quite where Spries needed it to be at, at 7-5 Armstrong. Yeah, she tried to make the adjustment, but just couldn't get the ball up over the net. There's Kunst. Patsack the dig. Miller to Spries, blocked. Abby Miller will try again, this time Tubin. Sanis in. And good for the kill. Mazur wanted it to to be an out of bounds call, I had to wait. I thought she might have it right, but it is ruled in bounds for the kill for Avery Tooman. 7-6, Tigers within one. Yeah, look, their near official down here called it, seeing that line. Abby Miller, off that serve to the middle, blocked by Spries and Tooman for the block assist. We're even, 7-7 seven, seven and set three. Ace for Abby Miller. Here comes the Tigers, got down early. But Good job here, Tigers, the last few points. Block in the middle, it's two minutes surprise yet again. 9-7, North Allegheny on a 4-0 run. Yeah, Kreitzer with the attempted in the kill, but blocked. Abby Miller, too long, service air, 9-8. Bowser got out of the way at the last second. <laughs> Emma Halutik serves for the River Hawks. Halkowski the dig, Abby Miller up to Tuman on the right side, cross court but out of bounds on the near side. Just outside, she went cross court. Ty score, 9-9 and set three. Aaron Carmody digs. Abby Miller up to Logan. Cross court, Lasher digs it up. Mazur looks to the left side. Here's Logan. Four hits. And it's 10-9, Armstrong. Good, good adjustment here by the Armstrong after N.A. took the lead. Dig Helkowski, Abby Miller left side for Micah Logan. Good dig by Lasher and the point. Tigers were about to celebrate, thought they had it, but Kenzie Lasher with a remarkable effort for the point. I was celebrating for North Allegheny. That looked like a surefire point. Great job by the Kenzie. Abby Miller back set to two, but no denying this one. Avery Tubin and the Tigers trail by one, 11 10. And Tubin will have a seat as uh, Elena Carmody will come in to serve. You mentioned how Tubin's been quiet, two kills, two blocks in this set. She heard you. <laughs> 11 10. 
Armstrong in the in set three in the Quad A Volleyball Championship. North Allegheny in front in the match score 2-0. And now we're tied here after an Anna Spry's block, 11-all. That's her third block. Yeah, she's having a nice, nice game on the front line. Mazur finds Bowser. Ah, kept alive by the Tigers and Logan with the finish. Abby Miller with a, just a great sprawling dig there over to Page and then you said the kill. Wow, great, great job there by Abby Miller. Oh, and it, you're right, it all started with Abby Miller there. And Logan, you know, she had the highlight at the end of that, but it all starts with, with Abby Miller on that one. Here's Abby with the back set to Logan. She's blocked. And Armstrong gets the point, 12-12. We're tied again. That ball came right back into Logan. Lauren Bowser, first team all section pick serves. Surprise out of bounds. Armstrong re regains the lead in set three, 13-12. Yeah, set just a little bit off there. Bowser puts it in play. Abby Miller back set to Micah Logan. And the kill for Logan. 13-13. So impressive of the sophomore, the setter. She's got a bright future ahead of her. Grace Flanders, line drive on that serve to the back row. Kenzie Lasher with a scrambling effort, but gets it across. Abby Miller to Paige Miller, tips it over. Misfire into the net for Armstrong in North Allegheny with a 14-13 lead, Lasher unable to connect. Yeah, they were scrambling over there on their side. Flanders serves yet again, Bowser the dig. Mazer left side for Lasher, too long. Tigers up by two now, 15-13. Thought maybe a timeout might be coming, but not yet. Dig Bowser over the net. Abby Miller gets it over to Page, hammers it. Good dig though by Kenzie Lasher. Mazer plays it over. Abby Miller left side back to Page, she's blocked. Scramble for the Tigers. Kayla Dinkins, though, brings it across. Armstrong scrambling. Great effort there by the Riverhawks. Lasher again. And Dinkins drops the hammer. 16-13, North Allegheny. Again, Armstrong in defensive mode, but boy, Kenzie Lasher somehow getting that ball. She almost going into the uh, scores table. Bowser. To Lasher on the left side. Seven, excuse me, 16, 14, Armstrong within two. All important point there. Four kills unofficially in this set for Lasher. And numerous digs as well throughout the night. Along with her ability on offense. Paige Miller, the kill. It didn't even look like she got all that, but. 17-14, North Allegheny's lead is three. Patsack checks in, Logan will have a seat. Patsack. There's a tip. Tip out of bounds on the far side. It, was a, it went out of bounds. I thought maybe it went off of the Tigers, but it did not. So point for, point for the Tigers. 18-14, Armstrong falling behind now by four. But a service error will help out the cost for the Riverhawks. 18-15 now. Armstrong down by three. And Lutzik checks back in for the, for the uh, Riverhawks. Abby Miller on the play over. Here's Lasher. 
And it is and they're saying out of first, yes. Andrea Lasher arguing otherwise, but it will be a North Allegheny point, 19-15. Yeah, the referee was about an 80% sure call on the far side there, and that they're going to go with it. Tooman, Hill, Avery Tooman in the left quarter. 20 to 15, North Allegheny. Yeah. That time Armstrong didn't like the call, but we had a great look at it. It was right there. It sure looked quarter. good to me. Yep. Tooman with the kill. I want to remind everybody this game and the broadcast rights to this game are the sole and exclusive property to WPIL and the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Any broadcast of this game is intended exclusively for the benefit of the listening audience. And any use, rebroadcast, or distribution of this broadcast without the express ring consent of the WPIL and the Trib Live High School Sports Network is strictly prohibited. We're in the third set. Tigers leading at Baldwin, 20 to 15 in set three, and also owning a 2-0 match score lead. The Class Quad A Volleyball Championship brought to you by Trib Live High School Sports Network and the North Allegheny Sports Network. Chris Lackner, our producer tonight, and also ace cameraman doing a terrific job. He's been here all day. I hope he's getting paid well. <laughs> Yeah, it's a long, long day of volleyball. You gotta love what you're doing to be here uh, for four championship games, you know, so appreciate Chris and his effort and his dedication to the network. And all of the folks here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network, it's been a great day of championship broadcasts. You think about the soccer broadcasts as well. Last night, opening round of the football playoffs, busy time, and a great collaborative effort by all parties involved. So, and a big, again, a big thank you to Chris Lackner, Don Rebel, of course, the head man on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. Out of the timeout point for Armstrong, 20 to 16. Riverhawks need some points and in a hurry. Yeah, Dawn was doing the uh, City League Championship game today for the Trib Live High School Network, doing some play-by-play -play football. Lasher gets it in play on the serve. Abby Miller the dump. And despite a pancake dig attempt there by Delaney Mazur, the point good for Miller, 21-16. We like to see every once in a while you do that just to catch Armstrong off guard. Good job by Abby Miller. Aaron Carmody will serve. Aaron Carmody. Dig by Bowser. Left side, Bowser for the kill. 21-17. Still ways to go. Coons will try to get a few points here for the Riverhawks. Over the net, Joust still alive. Pushed over by Armstrong on that tip. Tigers with a tip by surprise. Good dig for Armstrong and the kill. Kill goes to Lauren Bowser. 21-18, Armstrong still keeping hope alive here in the third set, down by three. Back-to-back -back points by Bowser. Kunst on the serve. Abby Miller looks to Avery Tooman for the kill. Trickles off the fingertips of Mazur, and it's 22-18, Tigers in set three. Boy, Avery having just a great third set here for the Tigers. Mazur looks left side for Bowser, blocked by Spries. And this is going to, well, would have been four hits if uh, Armstrong would have went for it again. 23-18, North Allegheny could very well be closing in on a WPIAL title just two points away. And now a timeout is Armstrong thinking that same thought and needing to try and change some momentum. The Tigers, what, what a great two weeks here in the North Allegheny Sports Network for uh, field hockey making it to the finals. Uh, uh, girls soccer uh, qualifying for the state playoffs. Boys soccer with a WPIL championship. And now here, uh, Tigers two points away from a volleyball championship. So it's been a, a fun two weeks. It's been a busy one. 
but uh, it's, been a, it's been great to cover here from the North Allegheny Sports Network. One of the busiest falls we've ever had, and we love it. Yes. Congratulations to all of our fall sports teams for what they have accomplished so far and hope, still hoping for more. Like, our, like we said before, our wives don't like it as much, <laughs> but we are enjoying it that our wives will get Bray of flowers and nice dinner <laughs> on Monday or Wednesday, probably. Well, I'll take my wife to dinner later on tonight. It'll be a late dinner, but Just hopefully late. it'll be uh, after a little bit of a celebration here at Baldwin. Out of the left side, Bowser diving play by Chomos. Left side, Tuman off the block for the point, and North Allegheny with a 24 18 lead. So here it is North Allegheny with a 2 0 match lead. Trying to close this out for a title. Our R1 tells the bench for North Allegheny to sit down as the ball put in play by Abby Miller. Left side, out of bounds, and North Allegheny will celebrate. Bowser plays it out of bounds, and your 2017 WPIAL champions, the North Allegheny Tigers. Congratulations to the Tigers, a great Great job, 25-18 as you said. Well, what a dominating performance here for the Tigers. It has been all year. Tigers only losing four sets all year and they can make the championship game another sweep. Well, coming in, Armstrong, a top-notch opponent for North Allegheny, the top seed. And it was certainly a battle today, but in three sets, to some degree, a bit of a surprise, the fact that it was just three sets. Uh, we've seen North Allegheny all year. We know they've been fantastic. And uh, that's how good North Allegheny has been, that they could take down a quality foe in Armstrong in just three sets. Armstrong had North Allegheny on the ropes in the first set. But North Allegheny ultimately with a three to nothing victory. Again, it was 25, or excuse me, 27, 25 in set one, 25, 15 in set two, and 25, 18 in set three. We're gonna break for a timeout. And when we come back, we'll have more of the celebration here from Baldwin High School of the North Allegheny Sports Network and Trib Live High School Sports Network. Check out the new Trib Live High School Sports Network on social media this season. For breaking news, scores, pictures, videos, links to our articles, and more, follow us on Twitter and Instagram under the handle Trib Live HSSN. Get in the conversation on Facebook at facebook.com slash Trib Live HSSN. And on our YouTube channel, you can find thousands of interviews with local student athletes and coaches, plus highlights and full games. The spot for Western Pennsylvania High School Sports on social media this season is the new Trib Live High School Sports Network. It's often said, the more you learn, the more you earn. The U.S. Air Force wants you to keep learning even after you graduate from high school. In fact, the Air Force will turn your military training into college credit through its own accredited degree program at the Community College of the Air Force. For more information, call 1-800-423-USAF or log on at airforce.com. Cross into the blue with the U.S. Air Force. No one comes close. The Asthma and Allergy Foundation of America has important information for people with asthma. There are two main causes of asthma symptoms, airway constriction you feel and inflammation you may not, and most medicines only treat one. At asthma.com, you'll find information about working with your doctor and treating both main causes of asthma symptoms and how this can help prevent symptoms before they even start. This message brought to you by AAFA with funding and editorial support by GlaxoSmithKline. For more information, go to asthma.com. Welcome back to Baldwin. I'm Randy Gore along with Lee Moe, the Class Quad A Girls Volleyball Championship, a final North Allegheny winners, three to nothing tonight over Armstrong. And Armstrong now handing out the silver medals here at Baldwin High School and head coach Andrea Lasher. Let's go to the celebrations here with our uh, video cameraman and producer, Chris Lackner. Number 
Allegheny Tigers, the Class Quad A Girls Volleyball Champions in 2017. And Limon, uh, we've been here to this very site a couple of times where the uh, Lady Tigers faced the Baldwin Highlanders in, in a couple of five set thrillers, but lost in 2014 and 2015. And uh, obviously, th those were uh, disheartening losses for North Allegheny. Some of those uh, same young ladies now tonight celebrating a WPIAO championship. Uh, seniors like Aaron Carmody and Kayla Dinkins and Micah Logan, uh, just to name a few. And I'm sure for them, this has to be uh, the most gratifying of victories to come to that same location and win that championship. We see a lot of smiles on the on these Lady Tigers' faces. And, uh, I'm, laughing because, I'm laughing because Bob Miller's actually pulled his cell phone out <laughs> to, to take a picture out there. Oh, that's great. <laughs> that's uh, excellent performance by North Allegheny today, winning 3-0 over Armstrong. And uh, our broadcast intern, Jonathan Spina, tonight, he's going to talk with Heidi Miller here shortly, which uh, you'll hear that interview momentarily. We're hoping that he could beat the newspaper writers he, he, over. He said he was. <laughs> he, said, he said, I guarantee you I will be first. All right. I tried to give him some heads up advice on how to do it. He didn't want it. He said he was getting her. <laughs> so good luck, Jonathan, because there's a swarm of people uh, down on the court here for both sides, for Armstrong and for, for North Allegheny. So just a Great performance. They said when you lose only four sets all year long. I mean, they were th they were the number one team all year long, and and they showed it here tonight. They had three games to none again. First set again, another struggle like they had the other night against Enfield, but uh, really played well. Uh, set two, you know, once you get over set one, you know, if, if, if Armstrong wins that first set, things might go a little different. Momentum, you know, momentum's a funny thing, but they're able to pull out set one after battling through three set points, and then you come in the game in set two and set three, cruising in set two, a little bit more of a struggle in set three as uh, everything was tied up at 13-all, but then the Tigers slowly pulled away and was able to get to the championship. Set one, you talked about uh, a bit of a challenge for North Allegheny Armstrong taking North Allegheny to the brink a couple of times. The Tigers had a nine-point lead at 18-9 in set one, but Armstrong rallied all the way back to take a 24-23 lead. The Tigers tied it. Armstrong again on a Kreitzer, Lauren Kreitzer kill, regained the advantage at 25-24, but the Tigers tied it, took the lead on a Paige Miller kill, and won it on a, Logan, a Micah Logan tip, 27-25, to win that first set. Set two was essentially a breeze for the Tigers, 25-15, as Paige Miller with three kills, Kayla Dinkins with a pair, and in set three, uh, again, Armstrong was hanging tough with the Tigers at 16-14, but then North Allegheny able to pull away and come away with a 25-18 win in the third set. Kayla Dinkins with three kills in that set. Avery Tooman and Anna Spryce with numerous blocks and kills as well. Congratulations. <laughs> Congratulations, absolutely. So we're... Well, we can't help. We're down here on the floor and some of the uh, North Allegheny parents uh, <laughs> coming by and, well, you can't blame them. They're elated and uh, we're elated for them. It's uh, the North Allegheny Lady Tigers with the 2017 WPIAL Championship, the first since 2013 when the Tigers beat the Bethel Park Blackhawks. But, uh, uh, all and, you know, again, it's always the case for North Allegheny. It's all around. Setter Abby Miller, terrific. Paige Miller on the outside, terrific. Anna Spries in the middle, terrific. You could go, the list goes on. Aaron Carmody, Elena Carmody defensively. 
Um, Julia Patsack defensively with her serves. Of course, uh, Micah Logan and Kayla Dinkins with their big swings. Uh, it, it's just uh, it's a, it's a top-notch team. They've been number one from the preseason, and they're number one now tonight here as the WPIAL champions. Yeah, it's just a great year for the for the North Allegheny Timers, t t timers the Tigers. Uh, yeah, and the, the pictures, the celebrations continue to to go down here and I'm, I'm trying to find Jonathan but he's lost at everything so I'm sure he'll make his way over after talking, uh, talking to Coach Miller and uh, we heard that the new WPL rules must have a 10 minute cooling <laughs> off period but uh, Coach Miller said if we win there's no, going to be no cooling off period she'll be uh, more than happy to talk to us and uh, Jonathan's going to be over here in, in a minute but uh, boy what a great scene here for North Allegheny and now they'll try to win a state title, and that's a lot tougher to do. I think the WPL title's tough. Well, now we got a state title we got to worry about, and that will defend on Tuesday night against the District 3 third C. More likely they'll be going to Altoona, probably more likely for the first round match. Or if it's a home district advantage, probably like Hempfield or somewhere, yeah, somewhere in that line. That's what I would figure. Probably somewhere around a hemp field yeah, would be a, be a logical choice is, uh, with North Allegheny being the champion and, of course, uh, the third-place team out of District 3. Yeah, they, uh, usually, they usually try to do those, the, home, the first round, the home district, the top part of the bracket, they get that home district advantage uh, without having to drive you know, too terribly far, but that's the, what it is. You know, so you, you would think hemp field gateway somewhere in that area uh, for the District 3 third C, which will have all that on the North Allegheny website. Randy will be up till about 4 in the morning <laughs> uh, trying to get all that's going on with the cross-country championships today, tennis championships today, and, the, and, and Hershey, and now championship here today. So you're going to be a busy man typing away. We'll have articles for you tonight. You may have to wait on the schedule updates uh, oh, yeah. sometime tomorrow, although those aren't available yet anyway. But uh, no. once they are made available, we'll get them to you as soon as humanly possible. But uh, nonetheless, uh, yeah, we'll, we'll keep you updated in that fashion with uh, all of the uh, who, what, when, where, and how as far as what the upcoming state schedule is because we have uh, four teams, field hockey, girls volleyball, boys soccer, and girls soccer all in the state playoffs. Congrats uh, from earlier today, Ashley Wang winning the state singles championship and uh, in the cross country team, girls finishing in fourth place it was, correct? Yes. And Clara Savchik uh, taking second place as well. So uh, we are now uh, gonna be joined here by Jonathan Spina and Heidi Miller here momentarily as uh, Jonathan, who's done an excellent job for us here on the North Allegheny Sports Network this fall, had an opportunity uh, a short time ago to catch up with Coach Miller. And we will go to that interview right now. The North Allegheny Sports Network, Jonathan Spina, alongside Coach Heidi Miller. Coach, congrats on the win. Thanks. And can you give us just some opening comments on this game today? Finally, it just has felt like the last three years, um, it's been just out of reach because we've been here before. We've played Baldwin three years in a row and haven't been able to get over the hump. And these guys, especially the, the seniors who have felt this, they were so hungry for it. This is, on paper, this is the most skilled, well-rounded team I've probably ever coached. And add to that, we have senior leadership that is phenomenal. I, I love what they come in and do every day. Um, the way they work and the chemistry that they have, they really love each other. And you, you can see it when they play. There's two sets of sisters and two sets of mom-daughter combinations on the team, and I think that kind of adds to that special feeling. For sure, for sure. In that first set, you got, uh, Armstrong had two set points there, and that's not the first time we saw it happen against Hemphill as well. Just talk about the resiliency of your team and just not giving up a set. You've only given up five sets all season. Yeah. I think that is a testament to the way they train. When we're in practice, they, we, they put pressure on each other every day. So even in practice, they're feeling the pressure of having to perform under stress, under adversity. And so they are very um, unfazed when they're down a point or need something big to happen. They're, they all like that feeling of, you know, bring it on, let me do something to contribute here. And uh, again, that's a lot of that is the senior leadership. And we have some young kids who are very mature in the way they play. Um, yeah. All right, the run's not over. Uh -huh. Looking forward to seeing you guys in the state park. Thank you. Coach Holly Miller, thank you. 
Coach Heidi Miller, and uh, big thank you to Jonathan Spina to catch up with Coach Miller following the victory here tonight. North Allegheny celebrating a Quad A Girls Volleyball Championship. Congrats to Coach Miller and the rest of the Lady Tigers. You can hear the excitement just in her voice, yeah. obviously. It, uh, there's been some heartbreaking losses at this facility, as we talked about uh, in recent years. And uh, tonight, the Tigers do get over the hump. They get that monkey off their back, so to speak, and, and get the championship win first since 2013. So uh, that pretty much leaves only one more piece of business for us, Lee Moan, and that's our right Automotive Player of the Game Award. And, uh, well, as we spoke of it, it really, again, yet again, is another all-around effort. But uh, uh, Kayla Dinkins, again, continues to set the tone, hammering, blistering the volleyball. Again, there is one where you could just hear the sound of it resonating through the gymnasium. Kayla Dinkins, our right Automotive Player of the Game, the senior. Yeah, getting, she, getting, it, getting it done. Yeah, she came out on fire in that first set, and that she that, that basically set the tone right there. She was a, a, a woman among girls. How about that? Instead of a man among boys, we'll call the woman among girls. Uh, yeah, she just played outstanding, as the rest of the team, but uh, only going to give one. So, Kayla, congratulations. So, congrats to Kayla Dinkins and the rest of the North Allegheny Tigers Girls Volleyball Championship in 2017, coming back home to North Allegheny. Well, that'll do it for this broadcast. Uh, North Allegheny winners tonight, three to nothing over Armstrong for the girls volleyball championship in Class Quad A. For Jonathan Spina, my partner Limon, I'm Randy Gore, and uh, Chris Lackner as well, our producer on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. We will talk to you again very soon on the North Allegheny Sports Network. You have been listening to the North Allegheny Sports Network here on the Trib Live High School Sports Network. For the lowdown on all the North Allegheny sports, log on to www.northallegheny.org. Or for all the WPIAL action, log on to tribhssn.triblive.com. The preceding has been a special presentation of the North Allegheny Sports Network and of the Trib Live High School Sports Network.